Hey guys, so in the last video when we were doing logout, we were unable to clear the cookie um, for that user. So what I did is I took a look at what we were doing on the server side, figure out why it was not getting cleared. So this is our resolver for logout. This is in the user and uh, logout folder. And here's the code that's most important. And what we're doing here is we're destroying pretty much the session for that user. So all data that we're storing server side is gone. Um, but for whatever reason, I was thinking session.destroy right here uh, would also clear the cookie, but it does not. Um, honestly, I think that's all right because we've now destroyed all data we're storing, so the cookie is useless. But I say might as well also clear the cookie while we're at it. So this is something we can easily add to our code right here. Um, but to do this, we need to access um, the response object from Express. Now we can get this, so we're using the request object from, requ uh, from Express right here. We also want to use the response object. So that's a, another parameter right here that we can grab. So I'm going to destructure and get the response. And I'm going to just add it here. So now I have access to this in my context and I can use it in my resolver. And I added this response object here. Uh, I want to update my uh, TypeScript type. So this is what I expect my context to be. Now uh, initially I was planning on just doing this, so doing response and doing express.response, um, but I noticed it's a slightly different type here. Um, you'll notice it's express with a lowercase e, so that actually tripped me up. And I actually think our um, request one is wrong, see, it has a lowercase e, it's different. I'm using uppercase over here. So I should probably fix this guy as well, but I'm not sure if this will break code. So I'm gonna wait until it causes a problem. So here I am just gonna do a lowercase e, and now I have to actually import express now. Um, so I'm just gonna to come to the top here and say import import star as express from express. Um, and now this is happy. And we can use that response, so I call it res here, and then all I'm gonna do is say res.clearcookie and then the name of my cookie, I called mine QID, and we're good. So we can just let our server restart. I um, have the app up, because we're gonna be talking about that in a second. We can see server has restarted. I'm now gonna try logging out, um, and you can see the cookie is gone. Um, cool, so the network tab is here. I wanted to show you guys, um, if we look at their response header, so here's the logout response header. Um, okay, I don't even see it. I'm think I was thinking it would say like a clear cookie on it, but I don't. Oh, here it is, set cookie. So this this is what uh, you ha you should see in your response header for the request. So this is a, the logout request, and this is actually what sets the cookie to basically empty or clears the cookie, and that's how it disappears. So this is what I was looking for yesterday and wasn't seeing it. Um, yeah, so that's it for the logout. The logout should be working nicely now. If I go to um, create listing, of course it's not going to let me because I don't have a cookie, right? Cool. So that's it for the logout. The next thing I want to talk about real quickly in this video is the app. So I have the app up over here. Um, well, I guess I don't have it up. Let's, let's go over to projects and open it up real quick. Um, Let's see where I'm at. I'm at 10, 22, 40, Let's open up that. Uh, so yeah, I'll let that bundle, but what I wanna talk about is in our app, authentication. So I was under the impression that cookies did not work in uh, React Native or in Android and iOS code, but this is actually wrong. I actually learned this uh, a couple weeks ago that cookies works, so we can actually do the same kind of authentication that we do on our website, that we do on our React Native app. Because what we initially had, and what I was planning on doing, was storing the session ID, so this is in our login connector, um, in secure storage, but now this is pretty much unnecessary because we can just use cookies. So I'm kinda gonna demonstrate how you can, uh, I guess demonstrate that cookies does indeed work with this. So what I wanna do is add just like a hello world module. So I'm gonna create a new file in modules. I guess we'll just create a new folder. I'm gonna call it me. 
I'm gonna call it me capital M. And, and in this, I'm just gonna call the me function or the me query and show you that we actually do have uh, a cookie. Cookies being sent and that we can actually find out who the user is. So I'm going to display a query from React Apollo. And now I'm just going to do this so we set it up real fast. So I'm not going to worry about like TypeScript types and all that. All I really want to do here is display data. So I'm going to say query and I'm going to import from GraphQL tag GQL. I'm going to say me query. And I'm going to say me. And we just want to grab the email, for example. Why not get the ID as well? Pass that in. Get the data. And I just basically want to display this. So I'm going to have my text field. And I'm going to say json.stringify so we can see the data. Um, I just want to give this from React Native. Now I don't know if uh, data is going to be undefined. I mean, I think data might be undefined at first. I can't remember um, if it is with this component. I don't think we should have a problem with JSON stringify with undefined. It might. We'll see if this crashes. Um, but down the login over here, the login connector, we can actually just comment out the save session ID because we actually don't need it. So get rid of this part as well. So now the login controller, it's literally just calling login and uh, a cookie will be saved. And then what I want to do is I do want to add an on finish. Do we do an on finish for the login controller? I can't remember how we're redirecting pages on the, the front end because I want to redirect to the me. So I'm going to create a path called me and display me. So now after I log in over here, a cookie should be saved. I want to redirect to me and show you guys the data that we get returned from that. Uh, let's see what we did on the website. I forget how we redirect after um, after we finish that. So we said on finish and on finish we pass to the login view. Okay, so we're doing it inside that. So we can do it in the same manner. So I'm going to say on finish, this dot on finish. I'm going to say this dot props dot history dot push slash me. Now it doesn't recognize that. The usual, we just need to import it from React DOM, or I guess not DOM in this case. React, uh, or not, I think it's called route component. There we go. And this should be coming from native because we're on React Native right now. Uh, and then we need to add this to our login view. So I'm going to scroll up to the top and add a prop on finish. It's a void function. And then I can call on finish in the handle submit, um, assuming there's no errors. So if there's errors, we're going to return the errors down here below I can say props.onfinish. Alright so now I should be redirected and we'll see what the data looks like so we'll just log in with my usual user. Um, okay it looks like I can't paste. Um, cannot serialize oh is it I don't know why it is that. Uh, where are we? There we go. So Here's what I'm going to do. Since it won't let me just like stringify it, which is sad, because it's has a cycle or something. I'm not sure why it has a cycle. We're gonna return. And I think with this, uh, I don't know if there's loading in it. Oh, you know what? There we go. <laughs> I need to destructure it and then get the data. I think that was probably the problem. So can log in again and paste. Okay, that is not the password. 
There we go. All right, so this is kind of mangled, um, but you should be able to see at the top here, or if you try this on your own, you can see cc.com. Other thing I can do here is I can say style font size is like 30. You can make that a lot bigger. Now it also saved the cookie, so I don't have to just log in every time. The cookie has been saved, so I can make the first route me. And now I can see this user. So we can see c at c.com. And uh, if we want to, I guess I could center it and stuff. But yeah, you guys get the idea here. So it was able to recognize the user who I just logged in with was c at c.com. And it's using the same method as our website. We send up a cookie and knows who we are. And so we don't need to make any changes to our back end or any of that now. Um, and it works very nicely. So that's it for this video, guys. I just want to show you that's how we'll be doing uh, authentication and whatnot on React Native, same way as we do for React. Um, and then we can actually reuse our auth route component as well.